Hello everyone and welcome back to Five Nights at Freddy's Sister Location. We are going through night three and I have a new keyboard. I have... No. I don't care how shiny she is. No. Brat. Anyway, I made, I got a new keyboard. Welcome back to another pivotal night so of your thriving new career. It clicks you a little bit more. Really ask yourself, what am I doing with my life? You what may hear it. Say? Yeah, I'm going to see you whenever I go back through. Will I ever see my family again? We understand the stresses of a new job, and we're here for you. To help you reach a more stable and relaxing frame of mind, we offer several musical selections to help make this elevator ride as relaxing and therapeutic as possible. Really? We offer contemporary jazz, classical, rainforest ambiance, as well as a wide selection of other choices. Using the keypad below, please type the. It seems you had some trouble with the keypad. I, I wonder why. To type, and I will auto correct <laughs> it for you. Thank you for selecting casual, casual bongos. bongos. Now that your elevator experience has been customized to your needs and you're thoroughly relaxed, it's worth mentioning that due to your lackluster performance yesterday, the pay has been decreased by a substantial lack amount. Lackluster? That Please enjoy freaking animatronic was a descent. savage. There was nothing lackluster about my performance. I mean, that... Freddy was being a... Being a... Ballora. It was, it was getting bad. <laughs> All right, just like every other day. Due to unforeseen malfunctions from today's shows, oh? your nightly duties will require you to perform maintenance that you may or may uh -oh. not be skilled enough to perform. It became necessary for technicians to attempt to disk Freddy's power module. However, they were unsuccessful. Allowing them to try again would be an inefficient path forward as we would need to allow six to eight weeks for recovery and physical therapy. You will need to reach the parts and service room on the other side of Funtime oh, Auditorium wow. to perform the procedure yourself. Let's check on Ballora first and make sure she's on her stage. Okay. Great. It looks like everything oh. is as it should be in Ballora Gallery. Let's check no. on Funtime No, it doesn't. It's important to make sure she's on her stage before entering. She is not. Great. It looks like everything is as it should be in Funtime Auditorium. There is no need to check on Baby tonight. Please refrain from entering unauthorized areas. Proceed directly to Funtime Auditorium. No. I am going to this vent because the last time I played this, I found this was an Easter egg. Motion trigger. Which, for some reason, didn't... For some reason, didn't record properly. Go back under my cubby hole. As far as I know, I don't need to do this, but I just do it anyway, just in case. Did you know that I was on stage once? It wasn't I'll let you hear this. Long, only one day. What a wonderful day, though. I was in a small room with balloons and a few tables. No one sat at the tables, though, but children would run in and out. Some were afraid of me. Others enjoyed my songs. Music was always coming from somewhere else, down a hall. I would always count the children. I'm not sure why. I was always acutely aware of how many there were in the room with me. Two, then three, then two, then three, then four, then two, then none. They usually played together in groups of two or three. I was covered in glitter. I smelled like birthday cake. There were two, then three, then five, then four. I can do something special. Did you know that? I can make ice cream. Although I only did it once. There were four, then three, then two, then one. Something happened when there was one. A little girl, standing by herself. I was no longer myself. And I stopped singing. 
My stomach opened, and there was ice cream. I couldn't move, at least, not until she stepped closer. There was screaming for a moment, but only for a moment. Then other children rushed in again, but they couldn't hear her over the sounds of their own excitement. I still hear her sometimes. Why did that happen? And that is everything that happened. Now, it is time to go back. Sorry, I'm adjusting something. Motion trigger. Circus gallery event. Yeah, yeah, motion trigger. So, basically what happened, she killed a kid. Yes, Ballora. Not uh, Ballora. Baby. Baby killed a person. Baby killed a guy. Okay, why is this thing not there? There we go. Give me a moment. I... I am adjusting this on the fly. Okay, you know what? I'm leaving you. I'm leaving you right where you're at. Okay. So, now we get to go through Funtime Auditorium. That's what Mr. Voice Guy said. Oh, I was turning this the wrong way. No wonder. No wonder you weren't working with me. That wouldn't work with me either. Okay. Maintenance vent opened. Unlike Ballora, Funtime Foxy is motion activated. For this reason, it's important to keep the room dark as to not accidentally activate her. You have been provided with a flash beacon. Use it if you need to get your bearings and to ensure you don't bump into anything. However, use it as sparingly as possible. Proceed forward to reach the parts and so. service room. Basically, I have to sit here and listen for Foxy moving around and being a general doof. Alright. And you can hear it if you turn up your audio too. You can hear it where she will just move around every once in a while. Just gotta make sure she isn't in front of you when you start moving. Or whenever she starts moving, you have to stop. I hear it really close. So I gotta wait for it to kinda calm down a little. Okay, Foxy. You stop being a squirrely little shit. Next time I turn this thing off, she's gonna be in my face, isn't she? Come on. Yep. Staying right where I'm at. You didn't see anything. I definitely saw you. Uh, I do it and you move? If 
half steps. Good solid number. Okay. Another? Oh, I heard you. Uh-uh. I'm not moving. Not moving, not moving my... Not moving. You're probably gonna be in my face, though. No? Oh. I heard you then. I heard you then. If you would stop moving every time I try to move, that would be great. Just saying. Okay. Five. I'm kind of going through the little five step rule. I just kind of come up with that myself, where it's like, okay, um, five steps, check. Five steps, check. If I hear move before then, stop. Oh, you moved as I did that. Really? Would you not? I hear you. I hear you skip scurrying around. <laughs> Come on. Would you stop? Please? Please and thank you? Okay. <sighs> I didn't even take a step. I never got to click. I never got to click click on my keyboard to move forward. Okay, one, two, three. I got three out of that. Would you stop? Okay, one, two, three. There we go, made it. Hey, Freddy. Great job reaching parts and service. It seems that Funtime Freddy is out of power, which should make your job much easier. The release switch for the chest cavity is located on the underside of the endoskeleton jaw. To reach it, we will first need to open the face plates. You will need to press the face plate release triggers in a specific order, All right. and it's important to be as precise and as careful as possible. Locate the small button on Freddy's face, just under okay. his right cheek, and press it. Okay, this one. This one. Great. Now locate the button under his left cheek and press it. And this one? Great. Now carefully locate and press the button next to Freddy's right eye. And this one? Great. Now carefully locate and press the button just above Freddy's nose. And this one. And pop. Good job. The face plates should now be open. Locate and press the small button on the underside of Freddy's endoskeleton jaw. This one. Excellent. The chest cavity should now be open. Remove hmm. the power module from the chest cavity. Power module? Huh, you mean this? Uh, give me just a moment. Phone calls. Can't help them. I can still see body. So I have to press this. Great work. You will now be required to remove the secondary power module from the, from the hand missing puppet. hand puppet. Press the large black button beneath Bonnie's bow tie to release the power module. Okay, which side are you popping up? Oh, skip scurrying around. Alright, I see you. Go ahead. 
rise up. Rise up just a little bit. Rise up until I can see that little cute little black button. God, you suck. Oh, here you come again. I'm not looking at you. Much. Press the large black button beneath Bonnie's bow tie Shut to up, release voice. the power module. New mouse, this is actually kind of hard to do. Because <laughs> I can't adjust the sensitivity on this one. It's just whatever I can do. Gotcha. Great job. You've I got you. both power modules. This completes your tasks for the night. So... Please exit the building. It doesn't really matter what I do at this trip, point. And we'll see you back here again tomorrow. It doesn't really matter what I do at this point. So, come at me, Foxy. Come at me. Go ahead. Yes, she can. I'm going to guess so, because... <laughs> no. I'm going to guess she does know how to make balloons, because he made it. Shh, be still and quiet. All right. You've been sleeping for quite a while. I think they noticed that you never left the building last All right, night. So above this voice, I'm going to have to talk a little. This is night four of Five Nights at Freddy's. So I'm going to cut this video right here. So thanks everyone for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.